So I've mentioned that today I am not alone. South Africa's diamond, the one and only Mini Dlamini joins me in studio and she'll be here co-hosting the show with me until... You want is to that leave. what I'll we're keep doing, you. Tracy? Yeah, I've decided so. This is so. hijacking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you're not minding about... I don't, I don't. Listen, welcome. I know you spend time in Cape Town every now and then when you can. Yeah. But it's like you've been here for a while now, just over a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been here for a few days. It's been fantastic. Um, work this side is really, really awesome. And um, Cape Town's almost like a completely different country, you know. Um, I get you and I really get to immerse myself and meet up with new people that, you know, I haven't seen in a really long time. And business this side is actually really great so it's been it's been lovely that is wonderful now you came at a very good time of the year firstly weather has been pretty great yes. but let's also discuss the fact that you came here for the world cup final you were here and you got to watch the world cup final over here firstly who are you supporting i was actually supporting argentina so france is my favorite world cup team um it's my favorite nation so i've always been supporting them from the last win but um you know when when argentina got to the final i really wanted it for messi i needed to tell all my ronaldo supporter fans who the real goat was and I think now that argument is settled <laughs> <laughs> until what time did you celebrate this morning um, until I walked through these doors <laughs> <laughs> We are not going to tell a word of a lie, but it was so good. What a nail-biting match. And you are a huge sports supporter in general. Absolutely. No, it was probably one of the most exciting finals I've witnessed to date. Um, you know, when you really thought Argentina had it in the bag, you know, those last 10 minutes, you know, France scores two goals and literally equalized. It was nail biting down to the penalties and I think for me that's what a great final is all about you want to be at the edge of your seat you don't want it to be just a clean win you want yes. it to be nail biting and exciting and what a beautiful finish to to a great tournament but let's speak about uh, is it Mbappe yeah. oh, he's gorgeous I mean he's a great player <laughs> <laughs> But come on, how incredible was that? Oh, he was phenomenal. I mean, his two goals. I mean, Hat-trick in the World yes! Cup final was absolutely crazy. Um, he was he was a phenomenal player, and I think he definitely got his golden boot. So he got his accolades at the end of the of the end of the tournament, which is fantastic. So kudos to him. It was beautiful to watch. It was absolutely incredible to watch. Now I know I said Mini will be here for a while. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask any questions. We're just going to have some fun. We are going to completely. We've, we've kidnapped her. That's what we've decided. <laughs> we've kidnapped her. We're going to do quite a few, many different things with you. Because, listen, it's been a year of note. There, a lot has happened. And I'm sure you are ready to switch off and take it easy this festive season. Yeah, I'm ready for 2023. <laughs> <laughs> 2020 me. Yeah, Right, Tracy. Aren't you feeling I'm that? I'm feeling that. <laughs> Mini, I know you are spending a bit of time in Cape Town, but there's a new movie out with you in one of the lead roles. Yes, it's called The Honeymoon. It's going to be in cinemas next year on the 31st of March and it is the ultimate chick flick. I mean this is a movie where you get your girls, you guys get together and go watch it. It is such good fun. Um, it, the three leads are myself, Kajal Bhagwandin and Dumi Marake and it is hilarious. I had so much fun shooting it and I just can't wait for everyone to see it. Where was it shot? We shot it in KZN for a few weeks and then the rest of the movie was shot in Zanzibar. Oh. It was magical. No, it absolutely sounds it. And from what I've seen, it looks it too. Now, I know you, I can say you basically broke the internet the moment you shared one of the <laughs> official posters with yourself there in this incredible bikini. Your body on point. I Thank mean, you, babe. looking so, so good. Thank you. People went crazy about that. Yeah, it was crazy because I'd, I'd just given birth um, a few months earlier. So I was very, very nervous to get into a bikini, you know, immediately after that. But I worked hard. <laughs> Kudos to my gym. <laughs> you worked hard. It paid off. Everyone can go and check it out on your social media pages. <laughs> sure. It is over there. You're going to be spending a bit of time in Cape Town. Are we seeing more other productions coming? Yeah, I'm actually in the process. Um, my production company, Beautiful Day Productions, um, I'm currently writing a film. So I'm very, very excited about it. Um, I get my first draft this week. Um, and it was just awesome. I was literally driving home one day and I came up with it um, and I'm working with an incredible writer based in the UK and I'm just excited to to really flex my chops in you know the production space the writing space I think we've got such beautiful stories to tell um, and I'm excited to put that on screen and we've got incredible talent we in really our country do. and not just what you see on screen it's also the the crew behind the scenes that people don't even know of 
their talent is just exceptional. Absolutely world class. I mean, right now, um, one of my friends is working on um, the international Shaga Zulu production that's going to be that's being produced by CBS, and the the absolute scale of that production and seeing how many South Africans are actually on that production from a technical perspective is is incredible. And I can't wait to see what they go on and do um, with their careers moving forward. So South Africa is um, definitely the next Hollywood, without a doubt. Oh, absolutely. I think we all definitely love the sound of that. Mini Lamini, you know what, Mini? I know I said people must send your questions to WhatsApp and then I forgot to check. <laughs> um, <laughs> I did get a message though from someone saying, uh, Renee saying, Tracy, I just want to say that earlier on when you said switch on, our electricity came back on. So please, can you say that more often? I definitely will make a plan <laughs> to say that. <laughs> As Com should hire you. <laughs> <laughs> I actually got a very interesting message from someone else as well. Just on Friday, they're saying, will the lights go off? Will it stay on? No one knows. It's complicated. It's complicated. It's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> now you know I'm known for my flow jokes. I do. I was about to say. <laughs> and you love my flow jokes too. I really do. I comment all the time. You do. You do. Now for those who don't like my flow jokes. They need to get a life Thank and a sense so of humor. <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a few messages coming through, um, but someone saying, Tracy, as a viewer of many shows, I've watched her so many times, and when she comes on the shows, she sparkles, oh, she that's shines. Thank you. Um, and then there's someone else who wants to know, um, is Minnie here because she's going to be on the Espresso Breakfast Show? What do they know? Something we don't. Do they know something we don't? <laughs> no, I'm not. Are we putting it out there? No, <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> We're not doing early mornings. No, no, I can't wake up that early. It was a struggle getting here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Minute love you. What I'm going to do, I've got a few rapid fire questions, statements I'm going to make. Mm -hmm. And I want you to say the first thing that pops into your mind. Okay. Cool. KZN. My home. Cape Town. My heart. Motherhood. Amazing. Hard. Difficult. But beautiful. My child is a terrorist. Save me. <laughs> <laughs> but you've also done so well at just making sure that you are protecting your son. Absolutely. I really tried hard to, um, I just want to give him a normal life. You know, this is the life that I chose for myself. Um, but he just, he really is a rock star. It's starting to become more and more difficult. He has quite a personality on him, I won't lie. I can only imagine. This year... Um, the highest highs and the lowest lows. Social media. Um, devastating. Fruitful. Financially, though. <laughs> <laughs> but devastating. Definitely has its moments. Yeah. How do you cope with that? The really low lows when it comes to social media. I mean, it's hard. You know, most of the time you realize that it's just, you know, sad people, hurt people, people who are just trying to get their 15 seconds of fame. So, I mean, you deal with it as logically as you possibly can. But at the end of the day, I mean, I always say to people that I'm still human and, you know, I do see them and, and it does hurt, you know. And then for me, what hurts me even more is knowing that, you know, my parents could read some of these things and one day my son could read some of these things. And there's nothing worse than when people just make up complete lies about you um, that trend and, and become facts because a bunch of people have decided that that's what they're going to run with. So that's very, very hurtful. And I won't lie, Chase, I've, I've lost a lot of business as a result of, of people um, making up stories about me. And so people just need to be a lot more cognizant of the fact that their words do have power. And um, you can actually destroy livelihoods and homes just on statements that aren't true. So, yeah, social media has been a very, very difficult um, thing for me to navigate, especially this year. But I think it's important that you share the truth around that. Yeah. Share the fact that people don't realize that what they say can actually take food off your table. Literally. You know, I'm a single mom. I'm trying to raise my kid. And, you know, losing business is one of the scariest things in the world. Just because someone woke up this morning and said, let's be mean. You know, and I just think we need to all just be kinder. You don't know what people are going through. You don't know what people's struggles are. And um, let's use this platform to grow and build and be the fruitful platform that it was designed to be, you know. Um, and I don't think that needs to be built on hate. Absolutely. I fully agree with you. But it really can be so incredibly hard. And earlier this year, I know it was something we had chatted about with the passing of Ricky Rick that had touched both of us 
Absolutely. Means it was really, it was one of those incredibly triggering moments and we just all sat going, how is this possible? This man that had brought so much light to so many different people, he had taken his life. And you shared about this on social media. You shared and you said, that could have been me. Absolutely. And I think a lot of people struggle um, with their existence and struggle with the difficulties that they face in their day-to-day lives. And I do think that when you are a public f- figure, sometimes it does get a little amplified. I mean, recently, if you were, so you think you can dance or an Ellen DeGeneres fan, you would see that um, Twitch just passed away and he also um, took his life. And, you know, again, one of the happiest um, personalities, such a beautiful family and um, you don't really know what people are going through. And it touches back to what we were speaking about, Tracy, of social media, is that I really think that we need to create a movement of just being kinder. I was reading, um, I think it was Time Magazine um, had an article about a group of teenagers who have now decided to completely take themselves off social media and and just go back to being humans and connecting organically. So they still have devices, but they're no longer smartphones and um, they're just detaching from what's happening because it's becoming too toxic. Now, I'm not saying that that's what we need Mm. to do, but... I do think we need to take moments to to truly reflect on the things that we say and the things that we do because also karma is not karma is not nice mm. and I feel like I might not be you know coming at you for the things that you say to me but you know everything you say and put out into the universe does come back to you so if you are a little kinder and if you are more positive I do think that you'll attract more positive energy the power of your words is so important and um, I'm living testimony of the things that I put out there my goals my dreams I speak them out into the universe and um, and I think that's why I've been so blessed in my career and in my life um, and I just feel like we need to to start living more positively and just be kinder to one another. And I think on that note, I can't ask you for anything more. I was going to ask you for a beautiful Christmas wish or just a wish for the new year. And I think you said it all. That's Let's it. just all be a little bit kinder. Absolutely. Minit Lavini, till the next time that you come to Cape Town. You know you always have a space here. You are always welcome Thank to come you. and co-host with me. Just let me know. It'll be wonderful to have you. Awesome. Can I just do one more thing? Of course. You're listening to Tracy Lang on KFM. <laughs> Isn't it fabulous? Oh! My radio voice is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Your radio voice is fabulous. <laughs> the most music to make you feel great with Tracy Lang. KFM 94.5. KFM 94.5. KFM 94.5.